families are mourning in Louisville, Kentucky, and Dadeville, Alabama, after a series of deadly shootings in the past few weeks. And this tragic list is growing. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been 20 mass shootings since Tennessee lawmakers Justin Jones and Justin J. Pearson were expelled from their jobs in early April. 20. This stark reality only underscores what Jones and Pearson were fighting for in the first place. After a deadly mass shooting in Nashville, action on gun safety reform is what they were fighting for. And now that the pair are back at work in the State House, they have vowed to continue the fight. But others seem more angry that Republican lawmakers couldn't silence the two youngest black lawmakers in the chamber, judging by a racist robocall that is circulating and was obtained by the Tennessee Holler. Now, NBC News has not independently confirmed the contents of the call, but it falsely accuses the representatives of leading a violent mob into the Capitol. Mm. And it tries to paint the legislatures as dangerous. This is an age-old playbook of dog whistles and retaliation against black Americans who speak up. I had the opportunity to ask Tennessee State Representative Justin J. Pearson for his reaction to the robocall. call. This is what he said. The reality is uh, a lot of people in the Tennessee Republican Party are much more interested in race baiting and using racism uh, against myself, Representative Jones in particular, than addressing the real issue of gun violence. Uh, the reality is we are living in an epidemic of, uh, of gun violence, as you, as you mentioned, just in Alabama. Uh, what we saw in Louisville, what we saw in Nashville. It's indicative of a proliferation of guns and poor policies and inaction from legislatures across uh, the South in particular, but across our country, that aren't doing enough to protect people's lives. It is, it is harrowing. We talk about these, these mass shootings that have happened. Again, 20, at least 20 since you all have been expelled. Um, obviously, uh, the conversation was then and is still now about reform in the state house, uh, legislation. Governor Bill Lee, after, after demonstrations, after, uh, I think, having a brush with the personal tragedy, he has called on the legislature to pass red flag laws. Um, what do you have? Do you have an update on that legislation? Have you seen any any dr dr draft bills come to the floor? No, Governor Bill Lee said that he would like to see the legislature do something about red flag laws, but he did not provide uh, uh, much uh, to go on uh, for the Republican Party, in particular, who's in leadership, um, to do something. Uh, and the worry that I have is we are going to continue to see the proliferation of the erosion of our democracy by the people who are in positions of power in the State House, like Cameron Sexton, who really are not concerned about doing things that benefit uh, children, benefit our communities, prevent violence, uh, even at the behest of the governor, because they're much more interested in turning our democracy into a mobocracy, where their mob rules uh, and uh, their pedigree and their position, their power, give them control over others. And that's the culture that is existing within the Tennessee House that has to change, needs to be reformed. While saying that, the truth is, myself and Representative Jones have 15 new bills each as reinstated members to the House, and I am dedicated to making sure all 15 of my bills are related to uh, a gun reform legislation uh, that District 86 and members as in Bellington, Shelby County, want for us to pass, and that people across the state of Tennessee and the country want to see have happen. And so we are going to put forward red flag laws and other legislation that would actually prevent uh, a lot of the tragedies that we're seeing. You know, when I was down in Nashville, prior to having a conversation um, with yourself, Representative Jones and Representative Johnson, I spoke with some of the Democratic leadership um, in the House and in the Senate. And they told me then that the, right after the shooting at Covenant School happened, the Republicans came to them saying they want to work on a bill together and that they have been working on a bill. Do you, do you have any knowledge of uh, those conversations? What is, what is the Democratic caucus saying now? Because... You now have the governor calling for it. You got Democrats saying they've been working on a bill. Where's the bill? Yeah, there are a few pieces of legislation that I know Representative, uh, uh, the representative who represented the National Covenant School area, uh, Freeman, and some uh, Democratic leader, Karen Camper, uh, were working on uh, to get out of the late bills committee in particular. Uh, but I do know uh, for myself, and I can really speak to what we're about to do, uh, we're going to have uh, several pieces of legislation that deal with risk protection orders, uh, red flag laws, uh, coming up next week uh, by Thursday. And we want to get those heard and listened to before the end of session. Mm. 
All right, we will be watching for that. Uh, sir, before we go, I have really just been inspired by the unity between you and your uh, fiance. You both have navigated these past few weeks together. Um, I had the opportunity to see you in person. Can you just speak to the strength that you've given each other as how this has, has unfolded? Um, and then what is next after this upcoming week? You know, you've got the bills, you have uh, limited time in the state legislature, given the session is almost over. Yeah, well, Oceanae Ardillium is my heartbeat, uh, my best friend, uh, and uh, truly the love of my life. And uh, I'm looking forward to her being my wife. Uh, and she is just a remarkable life partner uh, and a supporter. And I get to support and cheer her on. Uh, and she has been uh, just the rock for me. And I'm not going to cry right now, but uh, she is uh, everything in a bag of, a bag of chips. Uh, with tahini sauce on them, uh, which is my favorite. Uh, and uh, she and I and our district, our family, because this is a fam part of our family, is a really big part of this movement, um, are looking forward to opening a district office, uh, holding community sessions within uh, several of our high schools locally to learn what it is that students want to see happen in their schools. And although the legislative session is for about a period of time, four months in Tennessee, the work is consistent. And so in addition to legislative that we're going to be putting forward. We're going to have community conversations here in Memphis and Shelby County and Millington with people who are being impacted by gun violence and not just in our schools, but people like uh, Thorne, uh, uh, mother, uh, and others who are seeing the impact of gun violence on a consistent daily basis, what they would like to see in the communities to make it safe and push those forward policy, push forward those policies locally and at the state level. Mm, all right. We'll leave it there. Tennessee State Representative Justin J. Pearson, appreciate your time, sir.